Do you guys want to study in France? And do you sometimes wonder how is life for a foreign student in France? Well, my friend, you've come to the right place because you know what? I'm a foreign student and I live in France for about two years now to study. And I know I have three big advantages compared to other foreign students in here because I'm trilingual, I know French, I know English, and I know my own native language, so I have that. And living here for two years now, I must say that I have, I think, a bit of an experience to like going from bars to bars or studying. And I can give you a lot of tips and a lot of basics to live a great life in France. Um, and I know most people, when they think about France, studying in France, they think about Paris. But man, come on, don't be so cliche. For example, I live in Lyon, in the southeast of France, close to Italy and Switzerland. And today, in this video, I will give you all the th tips that you need to live a great life in France. So let's begin. So let's begin by addressing the big elephant in the room. In this case, the student's worst nightmare is, of course, money. And I can safely say that if you come from a, from a first world country like, I don't know, USA or Canada or um, from Western Europe like United Kingdom or Spain, I think you'll be alright. But in my case, I come from a place where the economy is bad right now, so I'm trying to hang on. And in terms of houses, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of student residences where you can stay. They are strictly for students, and they begin from, I think, 250 euros to, uh, like, the best ones. 800 euros and the middle like in, in my case 550 euros I think it's manageable compared to other countries and I think the best part about France about studying in France is how the education is literally almost free like when you go to the United States or Canada okay they are the best education almost is is there but you have to sell your kidneys and your head and your everything to get an education there. But here it is virtually free. Trust me. And I also would like to add that living here in France, especially in Lyon, is not very expensive. Like I live, for example, uh, with 150 euros a week without counting the rent. And I will admit that it's a bit much for a student, but I know a lot of people that live with 50 or 20 euros a week. Uh, you have to eat a lot of spaghettis and stuff. But in terms of transportation, I think Lyon is very well infrastructured. Uh, and by that I mean, for example, you can take the tramways and after that you can take the metros. There's also buses that goes literally everywhere. And you, you have to have a, a red card, which is this one which is in my pocket, I forgot. Which is this. And by paying a monthly subscription to this, manually, you can <clears throat> ride everything from metros to tramways to buses, everything you want. And if you don't want to pay a monthly subscription, you can also pay with a little card uh, which you can buy for one euro and eighty cents, I think, uh, for just one hour. And we can't have a student discussion without mentioning all the fun. And by that, I mean the, the clubs and the bars, which Lyon has plenty of it. For example, in terms of clubs, you can go, uh, you can see uh, the events that that is happening. Uh, in Facebook groups like Erasmus parties in Lyon for example because everyone knows that the best events are prepared by Erasmus students and in my opinion the best nightclubs are Le Petit Salon and Sucre which is sugar in English FYI 
and there's also other cheaper options like Loft or Boston what I mean is there's a lot of options to go ranging from bars to nightclubs uh, in terms of bars there's Smoking Dog, there's King Arthur uh, there's St. James, all of those Irish bars and in all of them my favorite beer is called Shuf which is uh, basically a beer that has a lot and I mean a lot of alcohol in it so when you drink like two pints you're dead man and there's another thing that I, that I have to mention uh, the, about the French people the French are very nice they are very welcoming, generous, and all of these all of these things, but there is a little problem in them. Uh, it's that they can't literally speak English. I don't know why, but you have to get used to that when you come here. So when um, you will come here, for example, be it uh, for a semester in with Erasmus or one year, or like me, like three or four years, you have to know a few basics in French, uh, but. Uh, believe me you'll be all right because I have a lot of friends that came from different countries from around the world be it Bolivia Brazil or um, Turkey or <clears throat> Bulgaria they all had a few little uh, basics in French but now they can speak like me so just beware of that and I think Lyon is a very great place to balance your student life for example I wake up at 7 o'clock and then I go to school from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon uh, and meanwhile I hang out with my friends I go to the courses and all and after that I go to the gym uh, then I come back to my house I prepare my own food and if you want I can do a separate video about <clears throat> student cuisine where I can teach you how to cook protein based foods for people who go to the gym so don't forget that um, and then you can come after you eat you can study or you can watch TV series as long as you want and guys I think that I covered everything all of the basics and tips that you needed to know about living in Lyon or anywhere in France for that matter because I have many friends in all of the great major cities in France, like Paris, Bordeaux, Grenoble, um, Strasbourg, Nantes. Um, and you can ask me any questions that you want in the comment section below. And I will answer them immediately. You'll see. Um, and I think, if you want, I will do another in-depth video about uh, living in France in the future. So, until then, bye. Thank you.